Okay, we were working on creating our different layouts using Twitter Bootstrap. What I want to do now is talk about how to add a really easy navigation bar. And what I want you guys to do on all of your layouts, your, your two column, your three column, and your mix, I'd like you to add a navigation bar that takes you to all of the pages. So we're going to use the components on Bootstrap to do it. In fact, if you, click, if you go to Bootstrap, and you may want to go there right now, twitter.github.com slash bootstrap. Go to components, then click on navs. And on navs, you have basic navs. So horizontal nav using a tabbed sort of navigation bar. Go down here, you have a pill navigation bar. And the idea of the pill navigation bar is they're like, they look like little pills, I guess. Which, of course, that's what I always think of when I want to navigate, right? A pill, that'll get me there. I don't know who thought of that. Uh, scroll down a little bit, and if you want a vertical navigation bar, use a stacked tab or a set of stacked pills. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to add our navigation bar. So let's go to our layout, and at this point, we're going to start at the two column, and I want you to open up the section that has your nav. And in our last demo tutorial, we put our nav inside of the header. We created a nav tag. We gave it a class of main nav. And we did that so that we can style this. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to add navigation bar using Twitter Bootstrap. And it's really easy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start by showing you how to do basic tabs. Okay, look how easy this is. Under basic tabs, it says take a regular unordered list of links and add dot nav tabs to it. So you have that unordered list. You're going to add a class of nav and nav tabs. And I think all you need is nav tabs. So we're going to try it out and see if that works. So here's, here's my notepad plus plus, And I'm going to do a class equals nav tabs. Save my changes and launch it and see if that works. Launch in Chrome. Do I have my nav tabs? And if I and I kind of do, I have to add that class of nav to it also to get rid of those bullets. I thought maybe that was going to be the case. So I add a class of nav in a space. So now I'm adding it to say this is a nav. And what kind is it? It's a tab nav. So we add the two classes. Let's go back to the page. We'll hit refresh, and now you can see link one, link two, link three. Okay, I'm going to add one more thing here, and the idea here is we want to determine which navigation link are we currently on, and this is the two column. So on our list item, you're going to add a class of active. So this is the active list item that we're referring to. Save our changes. Alt-Tab, I go back, I hit Refresh, and now the active one, see it has that border around the outer part? So this looks like a hanging file folder of tabs. I don't know if you've seen those before, but that's what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so that's how we do it for the nav tabs, and let's take a look at nav pills. So we change nav tabs to nav pills, save your changes. Alt-Tab, go back, hit Refresh, and now that's what it looks like as pills. Okay, So that was pretty easy to style it up, wasn't it? All that was all ready for you when you downloaded Bootstrap. Okay, So now what we need to do is make sure each of our pages link to all the others. So you want to look at the names of your file names and make sure you get it right. So on my first list, it's going to be a link to two column layout. HTML. And instead of link one, I'll just put two column. And then my second link is going to go to three column. Three column layout.html. And then I'll make three column there. My final one is going to be the one called mixed, and I called it mixed column layouts. A little bit long, but it gets the job done. We know where we're going, and we'll just put mixed. Save your changes, and let's test this out on that page. I'll go ahead and relaunch it. See, it says two column, three column, and mixed. So if I click three column, it takes me there. 
However, I need to, I'm going to need to fix the three column. So let's go back. But at least I know that link works. I'm going to click on mixed and I'm on the mix. So I know that one is going to work. I just have to add it for my other. So let's go ahead and add your navigation bars. Fix them on all of your pages. I'm going to pause while we do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my unordered list. So I highlight everything in there and I'm just going to replace it on all of my other pages. So I'm going to right click and copy and I'm going to go to three column layout and expand the nav and I'm going to paste over that. So by pasting it, I know my links are going to work and the only thing I have to do is change this class equals active. So I'm just going to move it down. This happens to be the three columns, so I move class equals active to the, the list item that has the three column layout. I'm going to save my changes. I'm going to go to mixed. I'm going to do the same thing there. This one was back up in the header in the nav. So I'm just going to highlight that. I'm going to paste. And then I'm going to change the lit class equals active and I'm going to move it down to the bottom. And I'm going to save my changes. Now let's take a look at it. Launch in Chrome. I want to make sure all of these work. See, two column, three column mixed. I click on two column. There we go. Now notice this is kind of interesting. My three column is to the right of this. I'll have to find out why that is. Let's look at three column. Now on the this column, I have it vertical. I want to stack these top to bottom. So we're going to fix that. Now, if you go to the bootstrap, because you, you might forget how to do this, go to the bootstrap under navs. You want to go to stackable and we're going to stack the, it says stack tabs or stack pills. And if you notice on each of these, they each have the first two classes are the same. And all we're doing is adding one extra class called nav stacked. So all you have to do is just copy that from there, or you can just type it in. I'm going to put it on this one, which is in our three column. So I just put a space here and paste nav dash stacked. So that's the only one is wherever you want it vertical, you just add the class of nav stack. Now let's test this out one more time. We'll launch it in Chrome. And now you can see, there it is. It's a vertical stacked. Here it's horizontal. There it's horizontal. And the three column vertical. I like vertical by default. So at this point, you, you just want to test them all out by going to each of the pages and click on the links and make sure they're all linking to each other. If you've got that, you're good. So I just want to kind of leave you with, let's just do this. Let's make, um, I'm going to move to the other view. So we can look at the two different nav bars. So I'm going to leave you with that unordered list of there's the nav stacked for a vertical. And then here is without vertical on the right. And of course my links are so far, but the, the idea here is there's the class that you want to have. The other thing is don't forget class equals active. You, can, you don't need it, but that's a great way of helping the user know what page they are currently on. So it's a great navigational technique. So I'm just going to leave it here, and I'm just going to go ahead and end this video now.